Ever since I started my Instagram account, I've always wanted to go to New York. I've seen photos of people climbing buildings, I've seen the street photos and everything. It just, it just looks insane for photography. This story goes back to when I was 18 and this time it was just me, North Borders and another guy who we'll call for this story, Bob. When it comes to accommodation, being photographers, we have a lot of different equipment that is quite expensive. So we don't want to stay in a place that's too derelict and too run down just in case all of our shit gets stolen. So me and my friend Mike, we found this accommodation in New York, which looked perfect for all of us. It was right in the center and we were like, done, let's book this place. But when we asked our friend Bob if he wanted to stay in this place, he didn't reply for one day. And then it turned on to two days and then that turned into three days. And then he finally responded and said, uh, nah, this place is too expensive. Let's find somewhere for a lot cheaper. Also, just to give you some context, this place costs 3,500 Australian dollars for 21 nights in the middle of New York City, which I think is pretty good. Split that three ways and it's a pretty fair price. So he ended up finding another place and it was in Brooklyn and we were like, okay, sweet, Brooklyn's all right. It's only a half an hour train ride from Brooklyn to New York. So it won't take us that long if we want to do photography. So we fly to New York, we get to Brooklyn and this is when I realized that we had made the wrong decision. We were three Australian guys in Brooklyn. We had no idea whether this was a safe part or a dangerous part. We could just feel everyone was just just staring at us from like the surrounding houses like you guys are definitely not from here and we had all of our camera equipment and the Airbnb host when we got there wasn't even responding to our texts we were like are you here we're downstairs where are you and literally no reply for about half an hour and then she finally comes downstairs and goes hey you're coming in and we're like all right finally now on airbnb this place said that it had two rooms a bathroom and a shared kitchen area so we were like sweet we realized very very quickly that this is just not the case upon opening the door to our room we saw that it was a five by three meter room i wouldn't even call it a room it was a five by three meter box it had one double bed and one couch once we had all of our luggage and all of our camera gear in there we literally couldn't move the room just was not the same as it was advertised on airbnb it's funny how people deal with shock like some people cry some people laugh and i'm one of those people who laugh we ended up just looking at each other and we just broke out into hysterics although this was funny we had to figure out a plan of attack and we had to figure out how we we're going to get out of this airbnb and into a new one we ended up getting some dinner and then once we came back to our room we realized that the bathroom was actually quite dirty and there was some mold in the shower and then we walked outside and we realized that there was some weed on the table which uh, whatever i'm cool with that but like we, we needed to build a portfolio being the photographers we are we took some photos of the mold on the shower we took some photos of the weed that was just plainly in the kitchen area as well and we sent it to airbnb and we were like hey this is our accommodation we need a new place airbnb said yes we can help you guys and we'll find you a new place to give you some context this is at 2 a.m so we didn't want to leave the airbnb and just be in the middle of brooklyn we didn't know whether this was a safe part of brooklyn or a dangerous part so we figured we'd just stay the night and then figure it out in the morning so we packed up all of our bags and then we went to bed and when we woke up in the morning i'm the last one to walk out the door and just as i'm shutting the door i couldn't believe this happened the host grabs the door reopens it and says hey where are you guys going uh we're just um we're gonna go find a new place and she sort of was a bit confused but like i don't think she realized that all of the money we had paid her was getting refunded back to us so mission one was passed we had successfully left the airbnb which is all good but now we we're pretty much homeless in new york city we had nowhere to stay at this point we we're quite annoyed at our friend bob because we were like you put us through all this stuff just so you could save a couple hundred dollars with the accommodation when we already had this perfectly good place but we decided to like try and keep it peaceful because we still had 21 days traveling with him so we found a new place luckily that night the first spot we showed him was right near the empire state building but this next spot which was more expensive was all the way up in east harlem so i know a lot of people say when you travel with people it reveals their true colors and although it's cliche it is very true i know i've traveled with mike i've traveled with hayden and lamont on, all my boys and every time we've traveled you know we have our little arguments but we always respect each other and we always get along at the end if i've learned anything from this story it's that if there is a will there is always a way no matter what situation you find yourself in whether it's creating content whether you're literally stranded in the middle of nowhere if you have that will to break through that barrier you'll always get through it that's the story of how i almost ended up homeless in the middle of new york city if you did like this video, leave a like, help me out by hitting subscribe. 
And as always, don't think, just do.